Hey y'all, this is Lynn with Small Town Southern Wife. Tonight we're making meatloaf and I wanted to share it with y'all. It's a simple, easy meatloaf recipe. So when you get home, it takes you about 15 minutes to mix it up and it'll take about 40 to cook it and I'm cooking it on 400. So come along with us and I'll show you what it takes. Okay, y'all, this is what it's gonna take to do our meatloaf. A pound of ground beef, one medium onion, one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, a half a cup of sugar-free ketchup, right at one cup of pork rinds, one egg, two tablespoons of minced garlic, some garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, and salt to taste. So let's get it started and I'll show you the measurements. This is rough. Now for the other half. This is the roughest part of the whole job. Take two. Okay, we have our onion minced up pretty small. I'm gonna use this bowl right here to mix it in. And this ain't no fancy dinner this evening because I just have got home from work. So we're just throwing a meatloaf together and I wanted to share it with y'all how I do my meatloaf. I should have already had the ground beef open, but this is just the ground beef. You could use ground chuck or a different, per, like this is a 7327. I believe you could use the 8020, whichever ground beef you like. But let's put that in there. Wash my hands before I touch my jars. Okay. Now I'm going to put my half a cup 
of sugar-free ketchup, or you could use regular ketchup, whichever one you like. That's just the one I have. And next we'll go ahead and put our pork rinds in it. And then I'm going to put two tablespoons. I'm going to get it out with this one because it won't. The big one won't fit in the jar. I'm making a mess. But I'm going to put two tablespoons of minced garlic. Get all that off of there. We don't want to waste none of that. Here. Set that over there. And then we're going to put our tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. And I've already got my oven preheating to 400. And then I'm gonna put my egg in this bowl to mix it up. And I'm going to use this little spoon so I don't have to dirty up another dish. Another spoon. I'm going to use this other measuring spoon since I'm going to wash these. And mix that egg up. A little bit. And then I'll pour my egg in my mixture. Set that over here. Okay, well, there's my garlic powder. My onion powder. And the black pepper and salt, I'm just gonna do it the way it looks like we would like it. You can do more or less. About like that for the black pepper. And just a tiny bit of salt because that ketchup already has salt and the pork rinds already have salt. And then we're gonna get in here and use what we got and get it mixed up. So we have our pork rinds, our ketchup, our one medium onion, one egg, garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper and salt, and the Worcestershire sauce. Don't lose none. Come back in here. We need you. Just mix it. I don't want to over mix it. There you go. And then we're going to use this casserole dish to put it in. And I should have the camera on the other side, but we got to get this in the oven. And just flatten it out.
And then once I get it done, I'll, or almost done, right at the end, I'll take it out and then I'm going to drizzle some ketchup over the top of it. And I'll bring y'all back and let you see what that looks like. Okay, everybody, I'm going to take it out and I'm going to pour a little of the grease off of it. Uh, and I'm going to use this measuring cup that I had my pork rinds in and just put it right here and get a little of that grease out of it. This is what it's looking like. Okay, I got almost all the grease out. And sometimes we put brown gravy on it and then we have and then we have, you know, used it and done the ketchup. But tonight I'm gonna to go ahead and just do the ketchup. And I'm just gonna put a good layer on top of it. Just smooth it out a little bit. And then I'm gonna put it back in there for about 15 minutes and let that ketchup brown a little bit. Sort of, sort of cook your ketchup. That good, when it gets good and brown, that's when it's good. Let's get it put back in there and I'll bring you back when it's done. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna get it out of the oven. y'all where y'all can see it okay but there it is see how the ketchup brown just a little bit so let's cut a piece let me get y'all set back down Real hot. I actually should have let it cool a little bit. Just a little bit lower. Y'all hold on a minute and I'll fix the whole plate and let you see what supper's gonna look like for Travis. Okay, so here's supper for tonight. 
And that's my meatloaf recipe I wanted to share with, with y'all with my garlic potatoes and just some green beans I threw together. Get you a better view of it. But there's the meatloaf, y'all. Hope y'all enjoy it. Try it. It's good. And it's fast and easy.